All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And some of you probably have waited for this review for a while. Uh, it's been almost, uh, I won't say two months, but month and a half since I have the uh, Amazfit Pace. I did an initial unboxing for you guys. Uh, and this is my final review, my impressions after I've been using this um, watch, this smartwatch for, uh, like I said, almost two months, constantly, every day. Uh, and this is what I think about it, my positives and my negatives. First of all, uh, let's start with the couple of positives. Uh, extremely comfortable uh, and attractive, in my opinion. Uh, very durable as well, but uh, attractive. I'd say at least you know half a dozen people have asked me what kind of watch it is, where can they get it from, people from my office, friends, family members this ceramic face that Xiaomi did or Huami did is de uh, definitely very very attractive um, very unique and something that you don't see every day from other manufacturers at the same time is extremely durable uh, scratch resistant I have banged this watch against tables against doors door frames car doors all a lot of things throughout the, those uh, you know almost two months and every time I hit it I'm cringing and I'm thinking that it's going to be scratched destroyed but it's definitely not um, it has zero uh, scratches or any um, problems with the face even with the glass I think um, they did an extremely um, amazing job with this face as the ceramic is exactly the same as on the Xiaomi Mi Mix um, and again, this makes it extremely um, viable for people that are active, on the move, all the time. You're trying to exercise, you're going to the gym, uh, you're worrying about, uh, you know, destroying your watch or hitting it. Uh, not with this one. Uh, very comfortable and grippy uh, strap, also removable. I like the coloring scheme, but you can pick a whole bunch of other ones from different um, websites. Um, slight wear right here you're gonna notice on the bottom of the strap where kind of your wrist touches the surfaces all the time desk when you wear it all the time you're gonna see a little bit of wear but that's not a problem like I said um, just the top layer of the rubber is peeling not peeling off but kind of rubbing off and later on if you're you know don't like the look or it goes completely bad you can buy new ones for like less than ten dollars and replace them uh, that's a great thing so on to the features itself first of all the battery uh, that I have experienced uh, is lasting between six and seven days I even seen it over seven days uh, I'm sure that it really depends on what kind of activities you're gonna have with the, with the watch but for my personal use I spent hour to hour and a half in the gym every day um, just doing different kind of physical activities not really per se running or walking uh, so maybe that affects it to some de some degree I also sleep with it all the time so I have the sleep monitor uh, on I don't use much of the Bluetooth functionality I don't listen to music which the watch has an option to have you upload music directly to it because it's four gigs of internal storage from which you have about two and a half free uh, so you can stream it through your Bluetooth headphones I don't use that feature so for me uh, you know that's that's something that at least you know probably saves battery a lot uh, you can choose different faces I stuck with the default I kind of like it a lot uh, with all the information that it's uh, you know that I am interested in and I need uh, right away uh, at the bottom you can see the goal I've set 8,000 steps I currently have 2100 uh, passed during the day a date time obviously um, total mileage and you know if you run or do all that hiking uh, and the battery level on the top, you can uh, roughly see the percentage. When you wake up the watch, uh, one swipe down gives you more options. Airplane mode, mode sleep, uh, the backlit, some more settings, and if it's connected to uh, your phone and uh, the battery life. Also some information about the weather uh, that particular day. So if you swipe to the left, it will give you the battery. Uh, life in sports mode that's the remaining one calculated based on what you're doing and that's three days and five hours since last charge and I have 58% so it's gonna last about seven days again 
Um, so go, you know, if you leave it like this, in about 20 seconds it will go back to the normal state. So you gotta have to wake it up again. Um, so if I swipe up, um, different um, messages from Skype or other uh, social media um, apps that you have on your phone, it will be transmitted here, missed calls and stuff like that. Uh, that you can swipe up to, you know, delete. Uh, also, if you swipe to the right, you will see the different sports you can set up, run, walk, run indoor, bike, bike indoor, trial, run, elliptical, and different activities and some more settings. Um, if, and if you, you swipe to the left, uh, you'll see the forecast based on days. And if you click on the specific day, let's say today is Monday, I can't hit it on the camera, but it's pretty easy. If you hit that, it will give you the temperature and some more information, wind power, humidity, UV factor, all that stuff. That's really, really nice. I like that a lot. Uh, daily uh, steps. It will give you uh, the heart rate. You can set it up to mo constantly monitor your heart rate, uh, similar to you know other popular watches like Fitbit, which monitor constantly, but that's gonna drain the battery far faster. Uh, or you can just check it whenever you want by clicking the check now, uh, and that will uh, give you you know the current rate right away. And also, we'll build up this graph, which you can kind of see by dates and time. What was your highest, the lowest, and do a little bit more analytics on your heart rate monitoring. Uh, sleep patterns will tell you day by day um, you know, how long have you slept. Obviously time for deep sleep, light sleep and time that you're awake. So you can again adjust. Keep in mind that uh, it's slightly uncomfortable to sleep with this one because it's a bit bigger so you might feel it if you're a light sleeper you might feel it in the middle of the night. Uh, so that's, that's one of the, the negatives, I, I would say, but not, not, a, not a huge one. Uh, alarm, I use that all the time. Set it up to wake me up every morning at 6.35. Um, you kind of vibrates on your wrist, so you can definitely hear, uh, feel it. Uh, there's different levels of vibration you can set up. Um, but with the um, almost minimum, I think I set mine on minimum, I still feel it, so that, that's great. Uh, also compass very helpful if you're you know out in the woods or you want to check your uh, directions we'll give you the compass very uh, nice feature stopwatch of course you can use and this is the music where you can play your songs and uh, you have the training center you can uh, add in front of your running performance get started and you can kind of do your own schedule um, let me go back to the beginning and dive into the settings here um, a little bit. Come on, go back into the beginning. I'm trying to be too fast and when you try to do that, sometimes um, it does not react as fast as possible. <laughs> so if I sw swipe down and I go to the settings here, towards the uh, end, that cog icon, will show you the connection. You can connect obviously to wireless or Bluetooth. Go back. Common settings, you'll see time format, silent, silent time if you want to put it on that, airplane mode, auto airplane mode, vibration, I set it on medium, backlit, auto, um, we have auto uploads off, tap to wake, I have it off, but you know, you can have it on if you want to, to double tap to wake up the screen and put some light, where have it, left or right hand. Uh, upload, if you click on upload, connecting to Wi-Fi, so that will kind of connect to Wi-Fi you have and uh, will, uh, you know, receive some information from the internet directly without having to be connected to your phone. Uh, going back and then you have watch face, you can select between different faces. Let me go through them real quick. Uh, this is the standard. Some of the other ones, some of them look nice. I kind of switch back and forward, but I almost all the time stick with the default. You can download some of these online as well if you want to. But if you don't, you can stick with the defaults. 
and kind of switch between these. There's about, I don't know, 12, 15 already uh, uploaded onto the watch. So uh, it's not like, you know, there's a lack of them. There's plenty. Um, go to the device. Factory set, power off. You can do that from here. Find my, my phone. It will uh, send uh, a signal to your peer, paired uh, phone. It will start beeping. So if you have lost your phone somewhere in the house, you can find it. And a bot will, will show you information about the current um, version. Wami Lab, this is uh, kind of uh, information that you can um, capture information and send it back to them for you know, improving their software and report error. You can send a report straight to them. Um, need, you know, definitely plenty of features. I think it's a richer, uh, you know, feature rich uh, watch. Uh, I kind of got used to it. I really like it. I really like the way it feels. Uh, better life is great, like I said. Um, it's perfect for my needs, uh, you know, heart rate monitoring. Um, counting my steps, my sleep patterns, give me some helpful information about the weather and stuff. Um, what will be great, you guys seen my Xiaomi um, electric scooter um, uh, unboxing and some other videos that I'm gonna do as well. It will be great if they integrate that uh, scooter uh, to the watch. You know, what I mean by that, if you can see the information instead of your phone on the watch, like speed, remaining distance, power consumption if they integrate it to this watch that will be absolutely killer deal because it will be the most easiest and convenient thing when you ride the scooter to kind of glance over the uh, watch face and see the information right there and there um, also I went uh, um, kind of you know swimming uh, even went to the real deep end on my pool which is nine feet uh, no problem with the watch you know obviously the um, waterproofing and certification IPX67 uh, and has um, says no more than one meter but for a short period of time even at the deeper end it didn't have any problems didn't get wet didn't stop working uh, I think that's great if you're a swimmer and you go to the pool and don't want to take it off uh, obviously I don't recommend you swimming in the ocean or sea with it because I think the salt will definitely damage um, some of the plastics and the rubber I'm not necessarily the ceramic and the uh, screen that it's glass, but the rest of the um, materials. Um, also, if I go back here, you'll see that uh, going back to the settings, you can set up um, a lap alert. Come on, focus. You can set up uh, hour alert, you can set up target time, and uh, distance, pace alert, sport trail, all kinds of, um, actually if, when you do like trail uh, walk, it will give you a little map of, of where exactly you, you went through, which is really neat, uh, kind of cool. Um, I, like, I like the way it looks. Um, if you can set up, you know, what's the maximum of your heart rate, I put a 163, it will kind of give you an alert, hey, this is not recommended for you, you know, take a break and all that stuff. So you can tailor um, tailor the software around where your specific uh, expectations and your limits, your body limits are when you're training for different sports. Uh, and the, the watch will react and give you different warnings. Um, another warning that you have is like if you sit down for a long time, the watch will come on and say, hey, yeah, we, you know, I've, I've noticed that you're sitting for a long time, might consider getting up and just, you know, stretch your legs. So that's kind of nice. Um, you know, the Mi Band 2 had that as well, but less, you know, interactive, less kind of like, you know, if, um, you know, cool, I guess I would say it. Um, so yeah. Would I recommend this watch? Absolutely, especially for the price for around a hundred dollars. That it's you know it's been sold by Gearbest and other sites at the moment. I would absolutely recommend that watch. This uh, U.S. you know English version. It's great. Everything is in English. Uh, gets updates regularly. Uh, it has you know plenty of uh, 
in useful and, uh, and interesting information that you can use uh, by, by you know using it daily uh, and I think uh, a lot of you guys that look for something that it's not extremely expensive it looks good it's well made last um, the better last for a long time um, you can definitely use this one I mean if uh, you know if if any of that is uh, if something you're looking for uh, I would definitely definitely recommend this watch and I think it's one of the best uh, out there uh, extremely high quality like I said this ceramic uh, it's, it's just I can't rave enough how great it feels and how durable it is compared to everything else I have um, so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it guys um, one more time, uh, say uh, you know I'm really sorry for the lengthy video, but uh, you know I try to to be as brief as possible and say everything possible about this watch. Ask me any questions if you have regarding. I will try to um, you know test or answer you right away. Um, subscribe if you're new. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. There will be a lot more coming very soon. A lot more uh, cool and interesting videos definitely. Uh, and uh, till next time, guys. You have a wonderful day.